Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Yutosei episode number 4. Alright, the previous episode. Uh, a new character, uh, we met Amy. We met her, obviously we met her in Retosei, but in this, you know, in Yutosei, we're kind of getting more information about her. She's getting more screen time and she'll be probably be part of the main supporting character cast. So we met Amy. She you know she made like decided to make a detective club just so that like they can track down uh the person who is like you know bothering tatsuya like they had a mis like you know kind of they had um they thought that everyone's like you know a few students are bothering him because of uh, him being a course two student actually which is not the reason why he's being bothered it's a completely different reason and quite a dangerous reason why he's been bothered and then they don't know that so i'm guessing they're probably going to get into some kind of trouble that's uh, will probably go come and help them because as far as i can remember in reto say there was a scene like this so i'm guessing it's kind of going to we're probably going to see that in this episode i'm not sure but let's see let's see what happens and uh, yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number four of mahoka koko no yuto say so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah. Yeah, detective job. We have a we have a part time <laughs> nowadays. We do part time detective work. We nowadays. <laughs> oh, Tasha told her to. All right. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it's, it's that scene. The, the, I forgot Amiibo. Okay. Um Yeah. Alright, I remember this from Retose. Like they're doing a good job of actually showing us like you know not too much scenes that we have seen from Retose, but kind of enough to us for us to actually connect the dots. Like, oh this is happening, this was probably this time and something like that. And I'm guessing probably now we're probably not going to see whatever happens with Tatsuya and Mibu because we already saw that in Retose. And they're probably going to kind of like, you know, give us a little bit of uh, information and then that will be it. And we're probably going to see something else, like, you know, uh, probably Amy and Honoka, their perspective on something or something like that. Let's see. Alright. Friends, okay. There you go, they skipped that. Just like I expected them to. Like this is quite like good in my opinion. Because they're not repeating stuff. <laughs> oh my god, her delusions. Great. 
<laughs> okay. Um True. What? <laughs> oh, okay. But this is for this. Yeah, definitely. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like no festivities are going on, but suddenly. Oh damn! What? <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Unnecessary psychological pressure. Oh my god. Oh great. And that's just going to come. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well. <laughs> Okay, well, there you go. Verbally ab- Whoa, that's quite a word. Verbally abused? Wh what is that? <laughs> yeah, that sounds wrong. What is verbally abused? What the hell? <laughs> that sounds really wrong in a lot of ways. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, no verbal abuse is going on here. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's a cool what? Uh well that's something that's ingrained in the whole system so hmm, okay yeah Wildly delusional, okay. Hmm, I wonder who. Someone else. Uh, damn. He just... <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, I didn't want to like mix you up in the mess. Okay. National anti magic. Right. Hmm. An ability to wield magic and oh. Warp the jealous in reality is an idea called equality. Wow, that's quite an interesting way to explain this. Hmm. Yeah. There will obviously be discrimination, yeah. There's no way magic can. Hmm. Yeah, it's like basically this thing that we don't believe in technology in our world. Yeah, all right. Hmm, yeah. Well. Yeah. It won't escalate up until that point, obviously, because Tasha is here. So <coughs> Yeah, he'll he'll stop it before it escalates. All right, there, there he is. Okay, well, oh boy, okay, this. <laughs> what? Are you... What? Hmm. Damn. Well, this is not a good idea. I, I think so. <laughs> oh, Mewk is here. Okay. Okay, thank. I hope Mewki follows them because. Um, yeah. <laughs> the following him, you know, like, oh my god, oh great. Well, he knew it, obviously, like, they're blatantly following him, and ah, uh, no. Oh my god, what the? What the hell? 
I hope Miyuki is here somewhere, you know? I hope she followed them or something. Like, who knows if they'll be able to handle these four people. We don't even know their power level, so... Okay, okay, then, that, that's, just a sec. Oh no, that's Honoka. <laughs> what the hell, there were like four people, they weren't able to... Oh, whoa, what is that? What the hell? She made a wind blade or something? <clears throat> okay, they might be able to handle themselves, I think. There you go. Oh no, is that... Cast... Cast jamming or... No, what is that? Yeah, it is cast jamming, okay. Um, hopefully Miyuki is here. There you go. <laughs> Damn. Well, you won't. Yeah, here we go. They'll be frozen before they can use cast jamming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they would have been able to handle themselves if, if not for the cast, cast jamming. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. She's fine. Yeah, okay, well Oh, she's calling Yakumo, okay <laughs> Ninja Well Hmm, okay. Okay, time to go back to sleep. Damn, that Ara Ara was... Wow, that's a perfect Ara Ara. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was a bloodlust, I'm guessing. Oh, mental. All right, okay. That was Aka. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. 
There you go. Now everything will be. <laughs> ah, no. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is the... Uh... Yeah, this is like the whole thing with, with Mibu. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Like, like, they'll just come, like, you know, like forcefully stop them. This is no way to actually demand for something. Ah. All right. All right. What? Okay. Okay, well, obviously we remember this scene from Retose. resign themselves and learn to accept it i'd like to find a way to take down okay well obviously like this is Like, this is not simple as it seems like, you know, like, like there's a lot of things they actually have to do to, like, you know, completely break this discrimination. Because, like, you know, it, it's not only them, the, the students will also have to understand that discrimination, the people who are the blooms, they also have this kind of an attitude, like, you cannot stop that forcefully, they themselves have to understand. And here we go. <laughs> well, here we're going to see Tatsuya's actual... A little glimpse of his power. Oh, wait, that's the end? Oh, damn, that went quickly. So yeah, as I was saying, like... The whole situation is not simple like you know as like you know it seems as if it's very simple like like you know the students will be like yeah why can't we stop this discrimination and like no one can do anything neither the school staff nor the um, like you know student council because the people who are actually in question here are the students like you know the the discrimination whole thing has seeped in deeply with the students within the students as Saigus has said that there are people who actually think that yeah they're in the top of the world and like you know refer themselves as bloomed and the others as weed looking down on them there are a lot of people who actually accepted them as weeds and they have like you know made this type of uh what what can i say like they accepted that yeah we are the bottom rug so 
the problem is not as simple that yeah at the press of a button everything will be over not like that this is a problem which is deeply ingrained into the students themselves and to change this problem as Saigusa said like you know obviously like there definitely needs to be okay that's the end there definitely needs to be some change in the whole discrimination process of course one course to students but at the same time there also needs to be uh, a change within the students like the students also need to understand that this is one thing that we should not do and this is one thing that we should not accept so like this needs to happen and the majority like you know like the main change will come when the students actually start realizing and implementing it not only realizing that they, they also need to implement it for example uh, that that guy I, I can't remember his name I think his name was Moriyama or something uh, from the beginning episodes who like you know that haughty guy who <clears throat> you know like that prideful guy who was like oh we are the blooms you guys are the weeds and who was trying to like you know uh belittle tatsuya that guy um he like like just take an example he he himself is a type of a character who needs to change and and just like him there are plenty of students not only him like maybe there are like you know there are definitely more students who are even worse than him and there are definitely students who are kind of like you know light you know not as worse as them but still they kind of discriminate so these type of people they need to change uh, as soon as this Moriyama person I think that's his name Moriyama he realizes that yeah what I'm doing is something that I should not do and when he himself actually stops like this cannot be stopped through forceful means like you cannot like you know like uh, smack him and say that like you like don't speak like that like you know you cannot discipline someone into actually uh what can i say uh into actually implementing this you know this whole discrimination thing if you want to stop it you cannot discipline people into it the people themselves need to understand and that's a big thing you know like there's a lot of students a lot of people a lot of personality like you know uh like different types of personality different types of uh students here and some people some students might actually realize themselves and they might agree to actually try to make an effort to stop this discrimination whereas there also be a lot of students who will be like no why should we do that no so yeah it needs to come it needs to come from the inside you cannot like, you know smack someone and say that yeah you you you'll need to stop doing this you cannot do that here so yeah, that's a big thing. So obviously, like, Saigusa can't do anything. He can just, like, just like in this episode, he can just, like, tell the people, tell the students that, yeah, this is happening, this is wrong, we should not do this, and we should change. That's all that she can do. The other, like, you know, everything the other students need to actually realize, and they need to implement. Anyways, um, yeah, so, okay, this episode, uh, obviously, like, I knew, like, obviously, they're going to get into some kind of trouble, uh, Honoka, Izuku, and Amy, they, you know, they, <laughs> the way they were following him was very sloppy, obviously, like, <laughs> you should not follow people like that, like, they were just, like, you know, blatantly following him, just behind his back, like, you know, and, like, <laughs> I doubt that the guy needed any type of special senses to actually realize that they were following him. Like even if, like you know, even if like I was being followed like that, I would actually realize that I'm being followed. Like they're, they're like basically standing in front of the road. <laughs> but anyway, you know, like nah, they're they're, they're not good detectives. But <laughs> but at least they found out the actual person in question. You know, like that's one thing that they did really well. That they track the guy like yeah this is that guy but otherwise <laughs> bad detective work <laughs> anyways all right they followed him and uh, obviously he knew what was happening he decided to lure hit them into one place and silence them unfortunately Mewki was also there and he stopped everyone so <clears throat>
Yeah, and we get a little bit of background information. Obviously, the scenes that we saw in Rectose were not repeated here, and we got a lot of new things. Uh, we got uh, the information, the basic information about Blanche, who they are. Uh, I'm guessing, like, obviously, they kind of explained this in Rectose as well, but I'm sure, like, you know, in this. Uh, anime they also explained it because i'm sure there are a few people who actually have not watched it though say and it's starting with you though and they'll actually realize that oh this is like a spin-off so i'm guessing it's for them like you know giving them a little background information who this organization is and to actually flesh out the story more they gave us the information what blanche is and which type of people actually constitutes that you know the people who are um no, as they say like like who are tired of discrimination and like it, it's like it's, it's a weird thing you know like uh the thing that they're actually doing is basically like you know like obviously we understand that they are tired of this discrimination and like, you know they want to stop this so for that what they're doing is basically taking up arms and you know taking people hostage as we saw like they're going to take the school like you know the students hostage uh, in the next episode that's what's going to happen so like you know that's that's not a correct way to actually you know demand for something like it's not a peaceful way they're basically like acting like terrorists and obviously that's why uh like you know their uh, demands are like you know people are not what can i say like people are not paying attention to that and uh, i don't know like uh but at the same time you know like uh you can kind of understand where they're coming from they they are frustrated in life they obviously like like when do people become like this when they have nowhere to go i'm sure they have nowhere to go they have like you know what can i say like they have been uh mistreated by this whole discrimination so much so many times that now they are thinking like yeah like it's like we, we have nowhere to go like like they're helpless that's why basically like they are doing this so in that way i kind of feel bad for them at the same time you know because the amount of stress a person has to go through to actually take up arms is huge so i'm sure there are a lot of people who are actually using this organization for their profit or something you know for something else for some other agenda but most of the people who are like you know involved in this organization i'm sure majority of them are actually people who have been really treated bad by life by this whole discrimination thing and they are so cornered that they are forced to take up arms and that in itself is pretty messed up so yeah like like you know like the things that they're doing are wrong but at the same time the way the world you know treated them is also wrong so anyways but still like you know like to lost eyes this is completely incorrect and they're definitely going to get arrested and all and like you know their already worse life are, are going to get even worse but yeah like these these like you know the changes needs to happen gradually and it needs to actually happen properly like you know as i was i said people people need to realize this themselves and only they can make a change like you know the people who are discriminating they need to realize that yeah this is wrong they need to stop doing it otherwise it will continue but anyways um so yeah uh like you know we get a, as i was saying like we get a little bit of information about blanche what they are and how the uh you know the yosubas might try to stop them and this will be a problem for uh, Miyuki and Tasuya their life their normal school life and Tasuya says that I'll take care of it not not to worry <laughs> yeah and uh, okay and then the whole scene happens they try to like you know drag the guy down and Miyuki comes saves them uses her uh, power uses her magic and then you know, calls Yakumo comes in handles the situation and then the next portion of the episode starts where <laughs> what was just a second debate okay the, the next day the, the thing that happens like you know 
the student council as they were talking with all the other people so excuse me and in comes the people with rocket launchers guns and yeah like obviously we have seen this scene before in red Tose. uh we know what's going to happen kind of so next episode will probably be that like you know that's a kind of dropping them in a way and this problem is going to get solved in one or two episodes you know the whole uh arc the mini arc not a mini arc but this arc is going to get completed <clears throat> so yeah and uh, what else mm, try to see is there, is there something i missed or something okay so one thing that they actually mentioned here is how they're trying to stop something that is the use of man. like i also think like this is kind of weird in a way because uh as Tatsuya says that <coughs> that as Tatsuya says that these blush people they are actually trying to stop the use of magic now uh, what they're basically trying to do here is like for for our like you know if you take an uh what do you call it to take a comparison with our world uh they what they're, they're trying to do is basically they're trying to stop society from uh, advancing in technology in our world like you know if you take an example from our world so but in their world it's like a technology and magic and they're doing it for magic so like as Tasya said that like the the world is dependent on magic now so what they're trying to do is going to stop society and that's obviously that's one thing that cannot be allowed so if like they're they're like you know the thing that they're actually trying to uh like as i said like you know i kind of understand where they're coming from because there are a lot of people who actually do not are not able to wield magic properly and they've been discriminated for that that's why these people are actually taking up arms and saying that Oh, we need to stop this we need to stop using magic people who are using magic are monsters all that stuff like you know like an, a new type of discrimination is starting like you know like they have been discriminated against and what like you know what they what they are basically doing is they are discriminating back so how the hell will this even like you know this problem even reach a solution like like what basically happened is like they're slapping them and they in turn are slapping them like the, the, like this will continue this continue on and on and on again so this there's no end to this <clears throat> so like you know like so in my opinion like what they're doing is barking up the wrong tree what they actually need to do is number one like in, a, you know, in my opinion like <clears throat> Blanche was actually an uh, an organization which actually wanted to like you know uh what can i say progress in whatever they're trying to do to, to stop discrimination if they wanted to do that what they needed to do is number one use peaceful protests no like you know using violence nothing like that it, it won't work like that that's number one number two that they needed to do is change their way of thinking like they are saying that people need to stop using magic and no that's not going to happen obviously you need to understand what they need to demand is that like you know like we need equality that's what they needed to demand like you know like we need some laws we need something that would help us normal people like you know who cannot wield magic to actually walk with our chest up held uh, like, you know head held high we can do that we need some laws for that and we demand that that's another thing that they need to do so these two are like the main things that they probably needed to do do like obviously i am not so like you know proficient of, about these type of th things but even i can understand that these two things are the actual thing that they need to do there are a lot of other things probably they need to do as well which are actually needed and as i said like i'm not so proficient about these type of situations so I'm, i cannot like you know say that uh like what is right what is wrong but like you know like these two things are the main things that they need to do instead of what the hell like you know what they're doing 
that they are like you know using violence that's a big no because obviously the government are going to like you know, label you guys as terrorists and it, it won't work uh, number two is that they are actually trying to make people stop using something that they're dependent on obviously that's not going to happen so yeah like like i don't know like <laughs> but you know like obviously like these type of things usually do not go as simple as i am saying you know there's a lot of people as i said like you know a lot of people a lot of uh, opinions and uh, like you know usually these type of things escalate towards the way that we are seeing it now it usually escalate towards violence and like, you know uh, like like blanche is now so and there is obviously that one guy who is on top pulling the strings who has something you know bad in mind so like like this guy we saw um forgot his name the the, the leader of blanche in the japanese branch that guy so yeah like i don't know so what what basically like you know like as Tatsuya said like this won't work uh obviously the the families are going to get involved in this and the youtuber family is also going to get involved in it and they'll be shut down shut down very like you know forcefully so yeah like as i just said if you need change you need to do it we need to do it ourselves gradually realizing and not only the victims but the people who are doing this discrimination they also need to realize and that's a tough thing to do it will take time maybe it will fail maybe it won't but we definitely need to make an active you know, make an active try attempt to stop this but yeah that was it that was this episode so yeah guys so uh this is episode number four of mauka koko no yuto say so if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh it'll really help comment down below anything you want to say or your opinion about this episode anything in general i'll definitely check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of mauka koko no reto say so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.